So good day everyone. Today I'm going to discuss on how to use Pearson R in Microsoft Excel. So my sample que research question is, is there a significant relationship between the emotional intelligence and mathematics achievement of the respondents? Okay, in this question, in this question, sorry, I'm going to use Pearson R. But then in here in Microsoft Excel, wala siyang naka-specify na Pearson R dito sa ating Microsoft Excel. Okay, so let's start. Here is my sample data, the emotional intelligence score for the first column and mathematics achievement for the second column. So I have two data here. Ayan, two. Okay, so first step, click nyo yung data. Click data. As you can see here, meron kayo makikita na data analysis. Again, kung wala kayong data analysis sa inyong Microsoft Excel pa, panoorin nyo yung first video ko on how to add a data analysis in Microsoft Excel. I will uh, put the link in the description box. So, again, click data. Click data analysis. After clicking data analysis, i-click nyo si regression. After clicking regression, click nyo OK. After clicking OK, ito kasi na Wait. For example, this one sa input XY, highlight nyo si Y. So, mathematics achievement, shortcut key 4 hanggang sa baba is control shift arrow down. Please check kung na-highlight nya lahat yung data hanggang sa baba. Yung input X range naman will be here, emotional intelligence. Click nyo hanggang baba or highlight nyo hanggang dun sa baba. Please check kung nai-highlight siya. And then dito, nakacheck na ito. Diba sa akin nakacheck na sa inyo hindi yan mag-check agad. So, check nyo yung labels if na-highlight nyo pati yung labels sa row 1. Kung hindi naman, then it's okay. Huwag nyo i-check itong labels. And then confidence level, it's up to you, the researcher. Ako ang ginagamit ko is 95%. Ilagay nyo 95%. Pwede ding 99%. Okay, so next is, we have uh, your options here uh, on where to put your output. Output, it's either output range, same sheet, same workbook, new worksheet, ply, same worksheet, same as, uh, no, other worksheet, new uh, same workbook, and then last is new workbook. So, mas magandang piliin nyo na output range. After clicking output range, click nyo yung sa box. Tapos, mag-click uh, kayo dito sa inyong Microsoft Excel, yung open area. Okay, after clicking yan, yan. And then, click OK. Okay, so that's it. That is on how to use Pearson R in Microsoft Excel. Ngayon, ma'am, ano yung kailangan? Of course, the R. Ang kunin yung R is the multiple R value. Ayan, 0 0 0.3814913833 control C control V oh, since two decimal places lang naman daw ang kailangan eh di reduce natin yung decimal places depende yan kung saan kayo it's either 3 or 2 pero ang karamihan na ginagamit is 2 so next how about the p value the p value is tingnan niyo yung significance f at saka yung p value sa my emotional intelligence Okay, since naka-scientific siya, palitan nyo ito into a number format. So, arrow down nyo ito sa home, na arrow down nyo ito, click nyo si number, ayan, 0, 0.00, same, gawin natin dito, number, so, 2 decimal na siya, as you can see in our uh, formula box, ayan, yung kompleto, ngayon hindi naman yan yung kokopihan natin lahat, so, 2 decimal lang, yan na yung kukunin ninyo, 0.00, ilagay nyo na sa may p-value. So, that's it. Ganyan lang yung table ng Pearson R or ng uh, pagkuha ng relationship ng dalawang variable. Ulitin ko ah, that my hypothesis in this research question is, if the emotional intelligence is high, then the mathematics achievement is high. If the emotional intelligence is low, then the mathematics achievement is low. Kuha. Okay, so, ang nakuha kong p-value is 0 0.00. Ma'am, how to interpret that p-value? Later. Interpret muna natin si R. Si R kasi ginagamit dyan para ma-determine natin yung level of correlation ng, ng dalawang variable. For example, the emotional intelligence and mathematics achievement. 
So, I have here, eto, ang ginamit ko ay kay Evans 1996. Meron pang other sources. You can search in the internet or other books. Eto, kinuha ko kay Evans 1996. Eto yung suggested descriptive level of correlation niya. If your R is 0.00, .00 to 0.19 very weak correlation, 0.20 to 0.39 weak correlation, and 0.40 and so on. Nandiyan na yung level of correlation niya. Since ang nakuha nating R is 0.38, ayan, si 0.38, nasa interval siya ng 0.20 to 0.39, then weak correlation. Therefore, weak daw yung correlation ng emotional intelligence and mathematics achievement. Ma'am, what is the use of p-value? Sa p-value naman, Uh, we're going to test if the emotional intelligence and mathematics achievement is significant. Okay? Again, if the p-value is 0.00 and it is less than 0.05, then it is significant. If the p-value is greater than 0.05 or your uh, level of confidence, then it is not significant. Again, If the p-value is less than 0.05, then it is significant. If the p-value is greater than 0.05, it is not significant. So, we can now say that there is a significant relationship between the emotional intelligence and mathematics achievement of the respondents. Kuha? Okay, I have here a sample result from SPSS. As you can see, okay, as you can see, same yung result. Yung R niya, yung Pearson R niya, Pearson R ang ginamit ko dito sa SPSS. Okay, yung R niya is 0.38, same in here, 0.381, naka-stress kasi significant nga siya. And then, yung uh, p-value or the significant total value is 0.00, which is the same sa nakuha natin sa Microsoft Excel. Therefore, either of the two, pwede nyo gamitin. Same lang din yung sagot. Kuha, again, wala pong Pearson R na naka-specify sa inyong Microsoft Excel. It's the correlation and regression. So, you're going to click the regression kasi nandun na lahat yung uh, result. Kapag ka-correlation kasi, ang lalabas lang is R. So, I'm suggesting na if you're going to use or you are advised to use Pearson R in Microsoft Excel, then click nyo regression. Kuha, That is on how to compute or use Microsoft or Pearson R in Microsoft Excel. Thank you!